ends are arguably the best position group in the 2022 NFL draft as we transition there. Mel Kiefer Jr. has three of them within his top 10 overall prospects led by potential number one overall pick Aiden Hutchinson. Next up, Kayvon Thibodeau, who many people projected as the top overall prospect entering this past season. Third, Trayvon Walker who had an impressive showing at the NFL Combine last month and has been rising up boards everywhere. We got a couple of D linemen here today. Obviously, I'm talking about me and Mel. But anyway, Mel, uh, every mock we've seen up until this point has had Aiden Hutchinson at number one. Any chance that changes? No, Laura, it's not going to change. The Lions wish it would have remained the way it was in January when it looked like, hey, the Jaguars will maybe take an offensive lineman. But no, once they brought Cam Robinson back, signed Brandon Sheriff, it goes to a pass rusher is what they need. They need somebody opposite Josh Allen getting after all those great quarterbacks that the guys were talking about in the AFC and we all know exist in that conference. And Aiden Hutchinson, you know what you're getting. Energy, that pass rush ability, a guy who brings an attitude, makes everybody around him better. Uh, so no, I think you can lock it in, Marcus, that Aiden Hutchinson will go number one to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, Mel, I agree with you, man. I, Aiden is just polished. He's ready. But I got to ask you a question, Mel. What happened to Kayvon mm -hmm. Thibodeau from the time we talked about him being that number one guy to now? What transpired in this time that now he's being looked at as maybe the second or the third best rush, pass rusher defensive end in this draft? Well, a couple things. Hutchinson had the incredible year, and then Trayvon Walker had the incredible workout. And then Kayvon Thibodeau comes in without mm. great bend off the edge, without the great pass rush moves, and everybody's moving him down. I still have him ahead of Walker. I think he's the second best defensive lineman in the <clears> draft. I think he's going to go as high as three, no lower than seven. And I do think, guys, that, and you played the game, I think coming in with a little bit of a chip. He was the number one guy out of high school. He was going to be the number one guy this year. He gets through the season after being injured early. Now he's got some knocks on him. Now he's got some critics. And sometimes that motivates a guy with the talent to maybe try to maximize that and prove the doubters and skeptics wrong. So I think it could be a good thing, short term, long term for his career in the NFL. Look, you see it on the screen there. Defensive ends with the first three picks got him going back to back to back here. How do you see this playing out when you look at these three guys? Yeah, I definitely concur, especially with Hutchinson at number one. I think there's a better chance of Mel's hair moving than Hutchinson not going number one. And Mel's hair hadn't moved in years, so we all know that. I think defensive ends are going to go one, two, and three. Hutchinson number one, and then and then to me, it comes down Thibodeau or Trayvon Walker. Both of them are supremely athletic. The question's about the desire and the effort, and why haven't we seen the Thibodeau, who was the number one player in high school, are going to come up then. People are going to look at Walker and say, yeah, but the production and the statistics don't match the freaky athletic ability either way I am a fan I think this is going to be one two three swagoo and we are going to have defensive ends one two three in the draft and the big fellas all around the country Bow are going to be just like this here <laughs> we will celebrate a BMB draft it don't Ooh. get no better book here's the thing with me man yesterday <laughs> literally yesterday on the show we talked about Trayvon Walker and this crazy ascension that he was making after the combine, obviously, and showing that athletic display. Well, I went back to the tape book. It's special, bro. Mm. It is special what this big fella can do in space. I saw him cover a wheel route against Auburn. They put him in the middle of the field. He has good eyes. The rundown of the receiver against Alabama. There's a lot of eye-popping playmaking that I know have a lot of these guys in the NFL salivating. And more importantly, he's a plug-and-play in any scheme you want him to play in. And mm. I think that may be more or lending itself towards his value shooting up more so than the athletic and the crazy combine performance he put together. Man, that rundown against Alabama alone might be enough to get him drafted that high. Hey, by the way, hey, Boog, you're, you're talking about wow. Mel's hair not moving. Boog, your hair hadn't moved in years either. <laughs> the clippers moving. <laughs> right now Boy, makes me that. so happy because Boog. because Boog, Boog's delay has been bad today but he's just frozen like that on purpose thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus